Can you see? Yes, yes, we can see. And there is an inner that has a soft tip and there is a metallic towards the end. This is the K soft cook catheter and it is about 17 centimeter the outer part and this is about 24 centimeter. The French of the outer and the inner, the gauges vary. The outer is about uh, 3 to 4 French and the inner is 6 French. So, they are really fine, they are really soft and this is in uh, difference to what catheters used to be used even more than just a few years ago and we have seen that soft catheter uh, drastically improves our pregnancy rate. So, I am going to hand over the soft catheter to our embryologist for he is going to show you how we uh, typically load embryos and that will be done slightly later. First, I will show you how we keep our patient ready just before we do the transfer. So, can I have the ultrasound on please? And I want a PIP on the left side. And a PIP on the left. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, I want to uh, show the cervix. Can we go inside? So, we need a full bladder and the reason why we need a full bladder is because we need to straighten the axis of the uterus. As you can see, I am going to correct the gain of the uh, machi machine. It is very bright. So, if somebody can reduce the gain, that will be great. And uh, we need to show inside and again we are cleaning with saline. Can I have a 20 cc syringe please? So, again I do a lot of cleaning and flushing with saline and then completely dry. There is a lot of uh, discussion over whether media needs to be used, whether it helps or does not help. Uh, I typically do not use media. I clean it thoroughly with normal saline, dry it completely and I remove the mucus as much as I can atraumatically. So, you have to be very gentle in what you do and as less handling as possible. Now, I am just going to use a few gauze pieces. Can we have a focus inside please? To just clean and dry. Gauze piece. You can do it as many times as gently as possible till you are very sure that insides are clean. Syringe, I will now use a 1 cc syringe that will go into the internal loss and gently suck out the mucus. I have to be very careful that I do not traumatize and lead to any bleeding. Can I have the PIP please? Then I am using a few cotton tip buds to gently remove the mucus. I want the audience to see it very well, so please adjust it. Yeah, so just cleaning. No, I wanted PIP please. Yeah. 
right. Now, once I am sure that the externally internal uh, till the cervical canal is as clean and dry as possible, I am going to have a look at the vision of the uterus and be sure that the vision that I have, we can be off the PIP and just focus on the <coughs> ultrasound. So, I see that only ultrasound now. I am going to reduce the gain, it is a bit too bright. and improve so that trans abdominally right from the cervix. This view is very, very important. You need to be able to identify the cervix, the entrance, the internal loss and then write to the fundus to be able to know where you are going to put the embryos. The ideal site is still a matter of debate and there are two schools of thought. One is central mid cavity. It is not a very good endometrium if you would see. Uh, we would love to do it is in a better endometrium and or the other option is one centimeter from the fundus, so somewhere here. That is where the tip of your inner needs to be, while either you or your embryologist needs to push the embryos. So, once I am sure that I am in place, I am then going to use the outer. Just the ultrasound image. We want it steady, please. You can appreciate the outer going. Yes, we are looking at it. <coughs> and I won't I don't want to go too deep, but I want to be sure that the internal os is not going to be a problem for me. So, so you are going beyond internal os or till I, internal? I just go maybe a few millimeters beyond. Yeah. I mean there are many studies that say you should not go beyond the internal os, mm -hmm. but sometimes we just struggle at the level of internal os and we lose precious time. So, I go just beyond the internal os, be sure that I will not struggle with my inner when the embryos are loaded. And once I am in this position, I then ask my embryologist to start loading the embryos. So, I now want the ultrasound off and the camera to go to the lab and uh, just show the embryo loading please. Can you take the camera to the lab? And we can have the ultrasound off. Uh, just yeah, so uh, Jayesh is uh, going to load the embryos. The inner, he's, he would have first flushed it, there would have been a slight amount of fluid, then he sucked the embryos, then there is an air bubble and That is the tip very sure. I will just run through the embryo loading technique again, uh, but this is just to show and he is coming in. Now, I want to be shown here a PIP 50 50. So, can I have this camera also please? And the ultrasound machine as well. And that needs to be enlarged. Oh, 
Okay. So, we are now going to push in the inner and I am going to take it right till I see the mark in the inner catheter. There are certain centimeter marks and if you have reached to the first mark, it means that your outer and your inner are parallel and once you are pushing, you will then go into the cavity. So, I am now going inside. Can you appreciate the inner? Yeah, we can see the inner going inside, reaching. Yeah, so just I'm going to little below the yeah. fundus. It's going slightly subendometrial, and we'd like it if you can see the tip. And we draw it slightly so that the distance is about a centimeter. And this is where my outer is. So, as you see, we have to move our hands right and left, and you have to have a very good assistant to be able to show you the tip. And once I am sure that I am in the mid cavity, about a centimeter below the fundus, pushing technique can be different, either you can push or the embryologist can push. So, here we have our embryologist pushing and I have asked him to push now. So, if you can see now, yes, there is a forward mm -hmm. flow. Press again please. And that is the air bubble and that is the tip of my catheter. So, there is a forward flow, it is a bit close to the fundus and we would have liked it to be about 1 millimeter below to where it has gone, but still as long as your tip has not touched the fundus, you have seen forward flow of the drop and you can see a good drop, you have done a good transfer. So, we will wait there for a few seconds and then we will gently withdraw the inner. So, can you withdraw it please? So, I do not know if you can appreciate, we are withdrawing the inner and with this I am also withdrawing the outer and can we see the tip please? Kaveri, if you have a difficult uh, a difficulty in negotiating the internal law, there is a question from one of the participants. Mm -hmm. How do you negotiate a difficult uh, internal loss, tight internal law, so the angulation is difficult to Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I will just come to that. So, we, when we take it out and we see the tip and it has to be bloodless. So, can you focus on the tip please? So, this tip has to be bloodless to be sure that we have not touched the fundus. Sometimes the outer may have blood and that is because of the blood in the cervical canal, but your tip should be absolutely bloodless. That is fine. So, uh, yeah, the question was a difficult cervical uh, negotiation. I uh, will just come to it. I would want the camera and light off uh, here for a second please before I move to my PPT and answer the questions while we have the next patient ready. Thank you.